Today is a travel day here in Thailand. Right now we're in Suratani, in the city actually of Suratani, and we're going to be going on a ferry, not this one, don't worry, to Koh Samui, specifically a place called Lamai Beach. And the people with keen eyes might be noticing that I have a new camera. You're right, I do have a new camera. And I'll explain how I broke my old one and how I sourced and got this new one because it wasn't easy, it was a bit difficult. I'll explain all as we go to Samui. Thankfully not on this ferry, I've got to drive to a different pier, I got it mixed up. This ferry goes to Koh Tao, which we'll go to, we'll go to Koh Tao soon, don't worry. Okay, let's roll the intro and let's get this travel day to Koh Samui on the road. Let's go. My name is Paddy Doyle and this is my little Honda dream and welcome to Next Level Adventures. Right now we are attempting to visit every single province in Thailand. We've had some incredible adventures already but the best part is we're only just getting started. So subscribe and join us as we discover this incredible country together. Okay, welcome back. Yeah, I drove here because it said ferry uh, pier, but it's all going to Koh Tao. And Suratani, not Suratani, Koh Panyang, you know where they have the full moon party? Uh, but we're going to Koh Samui, which is the biggest island in Suratani. One of the most popular, right? And uh, yes, you can probably tell that I got my GoPro fixed. In a recent video when I went surfing, my GoPro broke because I bought like a cheap second-hand, not second-hand, what do you call it? Third party, that's it. Chinese GoPro door because I broke my other door where I can put my audio jack in. Because when I have my audio jack in like this, where you can hear me, it's not waterproof anymore. And uh, the door that I bought, leaked water when I was surfing in Khao Lak and uh, when I turned the GoPro on it was just showing you error messages and I tried to dry it out but alas it didn't work bless it so um, thank you to the guy on Instagram I put a story on my Instagram saying that I was looking for a new GoPro 7 or an 8 because I wanted to keep all my batteries and keep everything that I have in the ecosystem of the 7 and luckily one of you guys on Instagram sold me one he lives in Bangkok and he sold me the new GoPro for 6,000 baht, and he even included a bunch of really cool accessories. So thank you to the guy who sold me that. Keeping the show on the road, and I also, I've been basically staying in Suratani for about five days, waiting for the GoPro to ship, waiting for my new camera to ship, which I'll explain more about that on the ferry, and I've been fixing Dreamy. She's been leaking oil over and over again. Every time I park her, I turn up and there's a big pool of oil on the floor. And uh, so I took her to the real Honda shop. They worked on her for hours, maybe like half a day. They replaced 12 engine parts. And guess how much it cost? <laughs> okay, it cost 15 US dollars. Yeah, it was like 800 baht for the labor and all the parts. Can you believe that? This is why I decided to do this trip on a little Honda. If I had a big BMW, you know, uh, touring bike, even if you have like an electrical fault on the computer, that's like a 30,000 baht, $1,000 six week waiting list for it to ship over from Germany. Repair. A little Honda Dream, you can replace half the engine and pay a mechanic. $15 to fix it, so winner. Let me show you a really nice typical rice and curry spot. You typically pay 40 baht or 50 baht and you can have two curries with rice. So we've got fish curry, green curry, vegetable curry, fish, clams. I'm hungry. There's nothing like a nice fish curry <laughs> for breakfast, right? I got two types. One is this pumpkin with fried fish, and then this one is 
a bit spicier, but it looks like they've got onions, capsicums, chili, and some more fried fish. It looks delicious. And yeah, you just choose two of the curries out there, or two of the dishes, and it charged 50 baht with rice. Okay, and another thing that I really want to just quickly show you about my new camera is one of the reasons I had to get the new camera, other than the fact that my old one broke, is the fact that I've been getting lots and lots of comments about the autofocus and I you know I see it too I see it too I see it when I'm out of focus it happens a lot and it's partially because the camera was broken the lens system uh, and the and the body was broken and I was just trying to nurse it but unfortunately it was just affecting the content a lot and I was starting to get lots of messages roller coaster left a comment saying Oh my god, mate, I just found this channel by mistake and I'm absolutely loving it already. But please, buy a new camera. The autofocus keeps searching and it's distracting. Yeah, Lisa K. <laughs> she said, Paddy, if you don't sort out your focus on your camera, I will unsubscribe. Next level unsubscribe. So let me show you how good the new autofocus system is on this new camera, which I'll explain what it is in a minute. Um, let's say if I want to focus, not just on me, but let's say if I want to focus on this piece of pumpkin. Are you ready? Can you see how it focuses? And it comes back to me. And then if I want to say, oh, look at this delicious pumpkin. Boom, it, it focuses on the pumpkin. It's a, it, I'm still trying to get the settings perfect, but I was having fun testing this the other night in the night market. Have a look. Oh, look at the chicken. Oh, it tastes amazing. Mom, 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 mom. Oh, look at the chicken. <laughs> right? So yeah, I'm hoping that this camera is gonna just help level up the production quality. I hope so. Anyway, I gotta smash this, and then I'll meet you uh, on the ferry. Okay, so we missed the 11 o'clock ferry, even though it's five to 11. But that's okay, because there's one at 12, and I just paid 200 baht. Now, do I have to stand out here in the heat, or can I go to a special motorcycle queue. Because I'm special, right? I've got a motorcycle. VIP access. <laughs> Probably not. You can see the types of people coming on this ferry. You've got trucks with goods. Pickup truck. Bricks and mortar. A few tourists in the queue. Probably local people too, just who live on the island, who come to the mainland every now and again. Okay, well let me park up here. So do I just wait here for an hour? Looks like it, huh? Hey. Okay, <laughs> so we have to wait 45 minutes. That's okay. Now I can talk to you a little bit about my camera. So this is my camera. This is what I've been using since the very beginning of this channel. And I went on previous trips with this. I went to Taiwan. I climbed mountains in Taiwan with this. And I dropped it hitchhiking around the mountains and all sorts of bumps and bruises from that trip. I also took it in a tuk-tuk around the entire country of Sri Lanka and filmed a series there with my friends, the Budgeteers. And again, it got lots of bumps and bruises. And then at the beginning of this trip, about two and a half, three years into this camera's life journey, um, you saw I broke the lens on the long tail boat when I was going to see the Dugons in Koli Bay. Not Koli Bay, where was it? Komuk, that was it. And uh, so for reference, this is a Panasonic G9 and I spent about a year researching what camera to buy when I wanted to upgrade to something a bit more professional. And I chose the Panasonic G9 because it's got fantastic video features including the sensor here is actually on a stabilizer. So when you're walking around and shaking the camera, the sensor kind of stays on a gimbal. There's a gimbal inside here and it's an amazing piece of kit. Really gives great video, honestly, fantastic. But over the years of dropping it and over the years of breaking it, um, 
inside things started to just not work and when I broke my lens recently and I bought this one the Olympus 9 to 18 millimeters f4 it's a cheaper lens still 25,000 baht still nearly a thousand US dollars for this backup lens it just as you can see here there's lots of times recently and throughout this series as you guys have been mentioning where the autofocus is not very good and so I decided that you know it was time to soon upgrade and then and then it started to break in another area it started to break right here you see this is the audio jack okay this is where the microphone goes in and because I pull it in and I push it in and pull it out, sorry, so much over the years that this hole has now become like loose and it's not holding the external microphone correctly. And so I lost and I keep losing so many clips to, well, have a look at this. You might be wondering, oh, Paddy, your videos used to be 25 minutes long, now they're only 15 minutes long. A big reason is because I was losing big parts of my videos because the audio was broken. And I wouldn't know until I went to edit the video a day later or two days later. And I was like, oh, I keep losing all my footage. And the autofocus, the audio problems, it's time. It's time. So I decided to go smaller. I decided not to invest lots of money because the combined cost of this is very expensive. I'd say it's $3,000 for the camera and the lens. And I don't have the money to reinvest and rebuy this camera again new. So I thought, what's the nearest thing I can get for, my, for, the good, for a good price? And I came up with the Sony ZV-1. It's a point and shoot camera. However, it has a flip out screen and I, it can do external audio, even though the on-body audio is actually quite good. I have tested it. Here's a, little, here's a little clip actually of me testing the camera the first day I bought it out of the box with no external audio at the night market in Suratani. How's that look? It's quite wide, huh? Having a new camera, I feel like I'm cheating on my girlfriend or something. But uh, it's just a camera. But maybe I connect. Anyway, now that I'm walking through and there's people cooking left, there's tall people talking right, how's the audio? Can you hear me okay? And how's the image? I'm gonna switch to my left hand. It's not heavy at all, that's amazing. And when I was in 7-Eleven buying a beer, I just put the camera in my pocket. <laughs> And once I decided on the Sony ZV-1, the next portal call was trying to find one. <laughs> um, in Patalung, in the camera shop there, they didn't have one. In Suratani, in the big mall, I went to the big camera there. And again, they didn't have it. And then I spoke to my good friend, Dana. You might remember Dana. He's the guy who gave me a helmet in Bangkok. And we've been in contact a lot through this trip. And he said to me, if you ever need anything, let me know. And I said to him, I need your help. Can you track down on one of these? and there was only a couple in the whole city of Bangkok and he managed to find one at the Sony shop and he was actually kind enough to ship it down to me. Alright guys, I gotta go take a package to Patty. Patty Doyle. That's what we gotta do. Creators gotta help each other out. He was in a pinch. Asked me to mail some stuff to him. Let's go. That's on its way to you. You should have it in a day or two. Good luck. I hope it's everything you needed. Keep making awesome videos. I think it's going to be a good camera, guys. I think it's going to improve the quality. There is one thing that you might notice that's a little bit weird, and that, that's my skin. My skin looks shiny and smooth, which is a setting on here, which I need to learn how to turn off. Can you see? It looks a little bit like paint shopped. And when it came out of the box, this skin effect, this is called the skin smoothing effect, was really high and I looked ridiculous. I've turned it down to low, but I think I need to turn it off completely because it does make me look a little bit like i am like got an Instagram filter on. Do you see what I mean? 
look at my skin, right? It looks a little bit too smooth. It looks a little bit too perfect. And that's not my vibe. So anyway, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna go on the ferry to Coast Samui and check into our Airbnb in La Mai Beach. I'm really excited. I hope it's good. It looks amazing on the website and it's cheap. You won't believe how cheap it is. I'll tell you at the end. So cheap. <laughs> Airbnb for at least a week because it's cheap and um, I want to have a base. The island looks big, right? And it looks big on the map as well. I think it's the second biggest island in Thailand. So yeah, let's stay there a week and let's really explore. And this ferry is bloody good. I just had uh, some dim sum, a Snickers bar and a little drink and they've got like their own little coffee shop area and you can sit outside and yeah. Fantastic ferry and cheap, 200 baht for me and the bike. Okay, welcome to La Mai. And I've, I haven't been inside my Airbnb, but I've driven past it. But I didn't want to just park up and check in. I just actually wanted to, whilst I'm still on the bike, have a look around. And um, now I know why I've heard of La Mai, because it's really built up. Um, I'll show you in a second. I just realized this is the beach. Let's have a quick little look. Yeah. Holy cap, can I just have a look? I'll look at you. Thanks. Yeah. So this is just a couple of minutes away from where I'm staying. So that's good. Wow, look at the ocean. So flat and calm. Okay, so Lamai Beach goes all the way around. This is going to be a good beach to relax on. So this is me. So park here. And I'll just see if I can get in, and then I'll show you around properly. So the reason I chose this place is because it's your own little house. And this is it here, this blue wooden house, I think. Okay, welcome to the beautiful blue wooden house here on Koh Samui in Lamai. And um, I've just had a look around, let me show you around, it's really, really cute. And you won't believe how cheap it was, but first, the garden is really nice. There's like three or four Thai ladies out here tending these trees. Now, I don't know what these are going to turn into, but they're picking them now, so I don't recognize that fruit, but they're all different types of red berries on this one and you can see the ladies and then in this garden area there's one two three this is mine four so there's like four individual mini houses in this little area which is really cute and mine's the really cute blue one oh my gosh so you come in and this is what I really like is um, I've got some friends on Koh Samui so I will be inviting you guys over for some drinks and we can sit out here there's a really nice table and chair and there's a washing machine too. But yeah, this is really cool for, you know, hosting people if you want. No shoes, okay. And then you come inside. Now what I'll do is I'll show you the living room in a minute. Let's start with the bathroom and the kitchen. Because this is the best thing about Airbnbs is you get your own kitchen. And it comes with everything. You've got a coffee machine, blender, kettle, kitchen towels hot stove like even like all the different spices and things teas and instant coffees knives everything you need to cook anything right now all you needed to do is go to the supermarket and there's a big macro there's a mini tesco here in lamai and yeah you can just set yourself up really nice toaster microwave mini oven and then you know plenty of um bowls and things and then you come into the bathroom and you've got really nice clean just really nice design, really good, really, really cool. You can even do your laundry, they supply laundry detergent, so if you want to hand wash your stuff, you can do that in here. Just really cool, really nice little 
kitchen bathroom again and it's all made of wood it's super cute and then dun 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 you come through into the living space so the best part is obviously huge bed really cute i love this thick woolen duvet and i like the little light and the dream catcher it's so nice and then you've got this really nice sofa here so good to have a sofa you can lounge and watch tv there's a smart tv so we'll connect our youtube we'll connect our netflix amazon prime to the tv and we'll just after a day at the beach after a day adventuring come back lie on the sofa and just watch tv it's just like being at home isn't it six nights here 3100 baht so just over 100 us dollars for almost a week six nights um which is incredible value especially if you divide that for a daily rate and then that includes the cleaning fee that includes the cleaning fee so very very cheap i think i do have to pay for electricity on top so you take a picture of um that when you arrive on the meter and then you take it again when you leave and they'll send you a bill but it won't be very much and this is home our cute blue wooden house in Koh Samui I just need some friends to come over and have a few drinks with <laughs> okay this is interesting some friends of mine who I've not met because they're you know internet friends <laughs> They have a YouTube channel and they live here on Koh Samui. I messaged them and I said, oh yeah, I'm here now. And they said, oh, where are you staying? And I said, Lamai area. And they're like, oh, we're not far away. We'll come by and say hello. So I'm gonna have guests come stay in like 45 minutes. And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna meet up and have some beers and the good thing is you know, we do similar things, you know. I do YouTube, they do YouTube. But I want to get a run in. So, I've got to go find a place I can buy beers <laughs> so I can host people and give them a drink and I want to get my run in. So let's run to the beach, let's get some beers. And let's meet some famous YouTubers, oh my God. starting to rain again. I love it. <laughs> love it. It's always good to see Thai people at the beach. I don't know if they live here, I don't know if they came from Bangkok or some other province to relax, but it's great to see people still enjoying their life. He's not sure of me. These guys are fishing on these rocks. I want to have a little look. Oh, nice butch beach dog, right? Strong. Uh, let me have a look on here. Oi. Wow. By the way, have you seen a cleaner beach? I don't see a fragment of trash. Oh, look, the poodles are out. <laughs> Come on. Sawadika. Oh, Sawadika. Hmm. And that's the thing, like, everyone went before I started this trip, like, you'll never make it. Because they think that I'm trying to go from south to north in a day or something. Yeah. Like, I'm going town to town. Mm. So you drive like two hours, three hours max? The longest I. The longest I've ever done on this trip was from Beitong to Hat Yai, and that was a full day. I left early in the morning and I got there at sunset. I had a lovely evening with Flora and Note. I didn't want to like put the camera in their face because they just came over here to have some food, have a chat. We've never met before, um, but they've invited me to go fishing. So we're going to do that. We're going to meet them properly and have another day adventure soon. That'll be in the next video, maybe 
in a couple of videos time, I don't know. And I'm really excited about Koh Samui. I was nervous coming here because I know it's a really famous touristy town and with everything that's going on now, I thought it would be completely dead, desolate, and have like a bad vibe, a bad energy, but it doesn't. It, the second I got here, I was like, I love it, which is great. So I'm really excited to make more videos here, to explore this beautiful place. And um, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry that was really weird and cringy. I didn't know how to end this video in, a, in, a, in any other way. Um, I'm really good at making things awkward.